Hello everyone, welcome back again to the tutorial on MIT App Inverter. In this today's tutorial, we are going to see a user interface option called button. In the last tutorial, as we have seen, displaying a text message is using label on the screen. So in this today's tutorial, we are going to make use of text box and enter some text into it when button has been clicked it has to display the text on the label so let's get started create a new project by clicking on start new project give a name button app okay button application So wait for a while, it is going to appear a screen. As per our application requirement, we do require the following things. First, from the user interface option, select text box and drag it onto the mobile screen. Next, select button, drag it onto the screen. And finally, a label just below the button. We'll make a center alignment, select screen and select align horizontal as center. Okay, so we will set the properties for each and every one. So for the text box, go to hint and and I'm going to add something, so enter something. Okay, right now it is invisible it is going to get visible when you install this application in your mobile phone and text box so the text box will set the font button as font as bold and 16 and font as more space height of the button is going to be 15 and width of the button is going to be something called Okay, so when you click on this button, a uh, text message, whatever the text you are going to enter into the screen, uh, enter into the text box, that is going to get display onto the label. So select label and go to properties. Okay, so right now I'm not going to display anything on the label, so it is going to be empty. So just to adjust the size of the text, and I'm going to make it. Bold. Okay, and they change the color as to blue. Okay, now go to block. Okay, so as we have set the properties for each and everything. Okay, let me even set the size for this also. Okay, let me make it 15. Okay, it's done. And it is going to be something. Fill parent. I'll go with fill parent. Okay, fine. And go to block. Okay. If you enter into the block section, now you'll find a block section on the right side. Sorry, left side of the screen. And uh, under block, uh, what are the components that we have added into the screen? So each and everything you will find all same thing over here. So our action is to perform when the button has to. Is being clicked. Yeah, I have selected the button, button dot click, and I'm going to select the label. So here I have a label one set label one dot text to text box dot text. So here we go. So what are the text that we have entered upon click of button that is going to get appear on the label. So that's that's it. We have done with this. Now go to designer. Okay. Now you can click on build to build the application. You can select either of the option 
to scan the QR code from the web browser or else you can download the APK file onto your computer and from there by using a USB cable you can push it to mobile phone. So here QR code scanning is sound easy for me. So you can see the progress bar. Progress bar shows the status of rendering a QR code. When it is done, it is going to display the QR code on the screen. It will take a while. So now you can see the QR code has been appeared on the screen. You can scan this QR code by using a barcode scanner application from your mobile phone. Using a mobile phone, you have to scan this application and when you have scanned the application is going to directly get downloaded and you can tap on install and you can see the application running on your mobile phone so enter the xyz text into the text box that we have placed on the screen and tap on button and a label is going to display the message that you have entered into the text box well that's it thank you